Hi, my name is Matt Carolyn. I'm an application support engineer here at Agilent Technologies, soon to be Keysight Technologies. Today I'm here to talk to you about the front panel interface of the new Agilent AC6800 series AC power supplies. You can see my AC6803A right here on the bottom, and on top here is an Agilent E3631A basic power supply that I'm going to use just as a load to draw some current while we do the uh, things on the front panel. So I'm going to get into it and uh, start talking about the metering and to show you how to make measurements. So you can see here, this is the standard screen you get when you start the AC source. So the first thing we're going to do is get our DUT running. So we're going to set the voltage. This is set up to work in the US, so it's a 120 volt unit and 60 hertz. It's already set to 60 hertz, so we'll leave it at that. So I'm going to turn the output on. And you can see my DC power supply is turning on. So now that's on, the output's off. You can see that it's 120 volt output and it's measuring about 340 milliamps RMS current draw. So what we're gonna do here first is, to show you that this is really working here, we're gonna just set this to uh, four volts and I have a two ohm load on there. So when I turn it on, it's gonna draw around two amps. Um, so you can see that the current draw went up to 0.63 amps RMS. So now the, th this machine can take a lot more measurements. So we're going to hit the, the meter button and you can see that it changes. It still has the voltage and current, but also gives you the, the real power, the reactive power and the power factor. And then it take, can take even more measurements than that. I'm going to hit the meter button again and you can see that there's a, uh, screen here with, with a whole lot of measurements on it. It's kind of hard to read if you're far away, but close up, it gives you a whole lot of information in one spot. It's got, you know, all the power information, the peak current draw, and uh, different, uh, the power factor, and the DC measurements, as well as the AC. So, and then if you hit meter again, you get back to our standard screen. So now we're gonna do a short tour of the menu system more particularly kind of the output menu. So one of the cool features of this product is that it has both AC and DC output, so you can add DC offsets to your AC signals. So you would enable that by going to this coupling menu and choosing AC plus DC, or if you just want DC, you can choose just DC. So we'll choose AC and DC for now and hit back. And Another, another feature that uh, is pretty interesting is there's a range for output programming voltage. So you can see that there's kind of, there's two different ranges. There's the 135 volt range and the 270 volt range. So you're gonna wanna use the 135 volt range for 120 volt testing, 100 volt testing, and 270 volts are used for you know 240 volt testing and 230 volt testing. But Another nice feature is that we have this auto range. So when you choose auto, it will actually choose the correct programming range for you based on your output voltage setting. One of the key tests you want to do with an AC source such as this is inrush current testing. So we have some features on this product that allow you to do inrush current testing. The main thing we have is that it can measure the, what we call the IP cold, which is the highest current peak it, it measures while you have that enabled. So we're gonna set this up to do in rush current testing and then turn on our DUT here to uh, show you that it's actually taking a measurement. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the measure menu and I'm going to go to this IP cold setting or choice and I'm gonna clear it just to make sure that, you know, anything that was in there previously is cleared out. Back to the meter again. And then I'm gonna hit the menu button here and go to output. Now, with this AC source, you can synchronize your output on off transition to a phase. So for inrush current testing, you wanna, you wanna start a certain phase so you get the highest inrush current. So what you're gonna do here is click on this synchronize and make sure that your synchronized checkbox is selected. And then you're gonna choose your turn on phase. So we're gonna do it at 90 degrees for, uh, for this uh, test here. 
and then hit select, and that, that's all selected. So we're gonna go back to the meter. So we're back in our standard view, the output's off. Uh, we're gonna make sure our voltage is right, our voltage is set to 120, which is what we want here. And when we hit the output on off button, it's gonna turn the AC source on at nine degrees of phase in the AC output waveform, and then turn our uh, power supply on. So turn it on, you can see our power supply turn on here. So now what we're gonna do to get the actual inrush measurement is we're gonna hit meter. If you hit meter twice, you could actually go, go and get the, I, the IP cold right here. So you can see we measure 16.43 amps. You could also go to the measurement menu here and click on this IP cold and you get the same measurement here. So that's kind of how you would do a inrush current test from the front panel. So that was a quick introduction to the AC6800 series AC power supplies. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section. Thanks for watching.